Yeah, so I've, I've retired from uh, non-league football. Um, I've been doing it, uh, playing and managing for the last three, well, I mean, about 35 years. I'm due to retire from my job, and um, I think only fair for missing support with me for all that time through non-league football. Missed the thought of growing up quite a lot for the weekends and things like that. And uh, I'm going to enjoy my retirement uh, for away from the football, and then come and support Grace as a supporter. So it's in good hands, you know, we're in a good position to the league. Um, and I think we've got a good squad of players. And I, I actually, I, I got really emotional at the end there, really emotional. Um, which really is not last, but I, I, you know, but, uh, because I love this club so much, I really do. I said to Steve last week, I've become a supporter of the club, more, more so than the manager, you know. And last Sunday's FA Cup, you know, really affected me. Uh, yeah. I didn't sleep for a week. And that made me take a stop a little bit and think, you know what, I can't really use my home and football and things like that. Yeah, Especially knowing what we've got here as well. So, um, yeah, so it's, it was a tough decision, but I think it's all right. Yeah, well, I, I speak for everybody. Thank you. Thanks for all you've done. I think we've moved the club on from where we've got. Do you know what, I, I, I was going yeah, to say, hopefully, you know, I've put the club in a better position when the first came down here. And if we're sitting joining top of the league today, Top, then um, I'm happy, um, especially in the first three games we've had Berry, Hazlin, and Avery, three tough games. I think if we ask any supporters, you know, we'd, we'd be happy with six or five points out of nine, we'd probably cut both our hands off. But nine out of nine is a great start. Um, goals in the side, um, and we're looking quite solid, especially like with instructor Jeffrey, who I think the man actually is superb. For me, it was head of shoulders. Brilliant. Excellent. Yeah, the cracking game. Yeah, I, I mean, I think not taking it. No, I, no, I think we have to look at the fact that we were playing. You know, I said in the program notes. I, I mean, my view was Avery are the favourites in the league because they've got strength, pace, experience. Um, we, we, we've bought a really good blend of that ourselves in there, but. I thought, because there's a lot of new players from last year, that it may have taken a little bit of time to mould them into what we want, but it's come quicker than what we thought. So I think you're right, I think that um, you know, today to beat Avery, and, and I don't think they had, apart from doing sights in one of the near post in the first half, a couple of balls in the box where they're going to be going to set pieces and corners from that. I can't really remember that often when they really called us to be problems. I think we had better chances than they the game here, so... Um, if Callum takes it one to make it 3-1, I'll stay over there. Yeah. But um, regardless of that, yeah, it's a fantastic result. Yeah, I, I thought we were taking the same way. If we were taking the same way, we looked and something was going to happen. Yeah, well, that, that to be, I mean, I'm not, that's what joins in and, and, and I planned for for today. You know, we, we, they're going to be a side that's going to come out there, a confident side. Yeah. Completely different to what we were going to yeah. do on Saturday. So yeah. we didn't press as high was what we, we wanted to tell uh, as we did on Saturday. We decided to let them have the ball at the back and see if they could play for us, which they couldn't. Uh, and when they went long to George, either uh, Jeffrey or Jack, challenged for the first yeah. one. But more importantly, we won the second one, which was great. So the, the, the tactics against them worked well today, but then on another day, maybe not. But yeah, we'll take it today. Yeah, I mean, I thought the back four were really solid. Really understood. Yeah, I, I, do you know what? It, it's, yeah. Without a doubt, and you've got to remember, you know, that, you know we're, we're without you know, Clarky, you know, we're without Lance, you know, Pat, you know, there's three centre holes there that, you know, are going to get in most of these, you know, sides. So the two boys that, that, that are playing at the moment have been magnificent. But I just say, Sam, I, I gave him a bit of a he's just confused between him and Ben. But, you know, at the end of the day, we got away with him in the end. But Sam has been brilliant. First, you know, the first three of that league game were yeah. absolutely superb. And Maka Joins for me has been by far the Much most improved. developed player since I've come down here because he listens and wants to do well. Um, and again, do you know what? I'm apt, I, I love Chucks. I, I mean, I, I, I love the kid. I really do. Even through his parents, spell, his tough times, I'm always talking to him, ringing him up. And, because I know he's a player there, and then when he gets off the, like, the shoulder of the last man or just makes the box, he, he's unplayable. He took his goal so well. Yeah. You know, he's getting to one, you know, the freaking key with yeah. him, so to, to go around him, that conference is very good. And it's a good spirit in the summer, you could see that, didn't you? you yeah, really definitely so. Well, I mean, I, I agree, and it's backed up by the fact that we're 1-0, like, most of the other side may have folded, because they, they were on top of the time they scored. 
then the boys dug deep, didn't they? Yeah. And, um, showed a little bit more resilience than what we've shown in recent years, maybe. Um, but you're right, the spirit is coming from within. They've got a great... They're, they're, they're mates. They're really, really good mates. And that's... It's always going to give you nine, ten points in any league season if you're that close to yeah. the And you've got that in there. So, uh, moving on, the club will make the season, you know, um, if anyone's going to come in or who's going to run it, I don't know what's going to happen at the moment. But the timing of me doing it was because obviously Saturday we haven't got a game in the FA Cup this weekend. So it's 10, 11 days before we've got the next game. Yeah. So there's plenty of time to take stock of what's going on. Yeah. Um, and, and then move the club forward. Well, like you say, I'll probably be over more than watching the game anyway. You know, so. Well, you've laid a foundation, Jim. Yeah. So there should be a quick transition when somebody else goes. Yeah, I think so. Um, and, and knowing you guys all committee and then you'll get the right person. Um, to follow it on, you know, it, it, it's a lot. I mean, I'm very optimistic about the, the, the boys' chances this year. Um, it, it, it wouldn't have affected my decision because it's more it's a personal than football. Yes, yeah, if it's purely based on football, because of course I'm staying because we've got chances this year, great big chances. Um, but I had to put my family first, you know. But I've had a great time in football, you know. I've, been, you know, I've written um, a letter of sort of Steve. You know, thanking the Met Police initially for giving me the opportunity, yeah, great times down there. But then to sign and be manager of a, of a, of a massive non league powerhouse at Braves has been over the years. You know, it was a big opportunity for me, and, and I'm thankful for, for taking it on. I'm, I'm genuinely, I'm, I'm a supporter of the club. Yeah, I want to thank for me to be on, because as I said, we have moved the club on from as we were drifting. Good. Well, no, I, I appreciate you saying that. I appreciate you saying that. Um, yeah, and, 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 I, and, I, and I've genuinely loved every single minute. I've loved every minute. Well, apart from the eight and the other things, which, which is going to haunt me forever. It yeah. really is. And I, I mean, honestly, I, that, I think you can tell by this, this interview. I, I'm, I'm still devastated by that result on the Sunday because I know how important it is to the, to the fans. And we were so well supported that day. And I leave there, you know, and I'm. You know, yes. and, and then you get idiots on, you know, and I said it last week, but that don't affect me, because it, it, it just, I just want to get older in front of them, you know, but, um, you know, the fact of the matter is, listen, this is a magnificent club, and I think that it's looking up. Yeah, just need that just Was it hashtag bring grades home? There you go, it says it all, don't it? Thanks, You're welcome. You're welcome. No, thanks. Thank you. Listen to everybody at Grays. Thanks for welcoming me. Um, you know, it's, um, it's been my absolute pleasure to be manager of this club. I thank Join Z, um, Dave, Warren, Sims, and Sims and Legend. Um, you know, Sophie, everyone, Laura last year, everyone who's been involved in this club team uh, pitching me. But we'll thank the fans and the committee for everything that we support. So thanks very much, guys. Yeah. Good luck. Good luck. Yeah, and good luck to you, Jim. Cheers, mate.